Well, good morning, everybody. I love having special guests in studio each morning to talk about things going on around the community. Have Teresa Gilman from Maple Glen in today, and she has brought in a pair of great guests. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Thanks for coming on. Oh, thanks for having us. Who have you brought today? I have brought a couple here that live at Maple Glen. We have Donato and Lucia Giannicola. Hello. 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 Good thanks morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Oh, thank you thank you for, to see us. Yes, thank you for having us. How long have you guys guys been at Maple Glen and tell me about your time there. Well, I'll be honest, we've been in Maple Glen for four years. Four years, okay. We are the lucky one <laughs> because we don't know nothing all about, you know, this where we live now. And we're Italian and we don't know, you know, where we be. And we be now today, we are very lucky people. We love over there. Matter of fact, when I, we started, you know, uh, the people came to us and said, you like over here? Oh, what? everything, food, wonderful. Uh, you leave home. You don't, you don't leave, uh, go and uh, no museum. You leave just, you leave a home. You, you ask the food you want. Uh, the cook, he fix me the way I want because we are Italian a little bit, you know. They do a wonderful <laughs> job. And besides, we have a people over there. I'm also 100 years old and play the piano every morning. I tell you, we live in a house, happy That's people. That's true, yes. A great you know, place. Every huh? morning we go all the way around and we say good morning. You know, and people, we cheer the people because we love to stay over there. You you love it, Lucia? Oh, Talk to me about it's, it. It is um, very relaxing. In fact, uh, as we sit here, the housekeeper is cleaning my apartment. Wonderful. So I don't have to worry about things like that, uh, change the bedding, do any wash I have, and uh, that's once a week. But if we need her in between, uh, she's accommodating. And uh, the staff itself, they're staff, but they're just like you and me. You can go to them with anything. Um, I've gone to them with kind of little incidental things, and then, you know, they have answers for us. So the caregivers are very good. The staff is very good. Um, and uh, we um, were introduced to assisted living uh, at St. Joseph's um, Nursing Home. Okay, yeah. And I was there about six weeks with a, uh infection, uh, a staph infection, in fact. And... Um, Kelly, uh, is it Crabtree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, she was um, uh, the head at that time. The executive director. Yes, at Maple Glen. And she came to us, and I uh, had my family there, and she introduced us to um, what assistant living offers. Wow. And it offers a lot. Hmm. And Maple Glen is unique because we have looked at other places since we've been at Maple Glen, even. Mm -hmm. And they're so large. Our home is like a large family. There's probably around 50 residents. And you get to know them and their life story because it's small enough that you can share these things. It, it's just amazing. He was telling about Evelyn, who's good, 99, excuse me, 99 and a half. <laughs> she said, she'll be 100 years old in May. Wow. Yes. Wow. And uh, go ahead, Donato. The thing that you should uh, tell Well, me. when she came and they told us all about Maple Gland, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she said, you know, we know, you know, uh, Shelton. She said, well, just come and take a look. Well, he was impressed. Now you're when there. When we came in, I said, I'll call right away. I said, Lucia, you don't believe. The place <laughs> is just phenomenal. You can eat on the floor, the clean, yeah. no dust, nothing. Oh, my gosh. Cleanliness is, is priority. Yeah. Teresa, you may be out of a job here because these two are so <laughs> Maple Glen. Early retirement, so and I can well. live at Maple Glen. My gosh. Yes. And then, then, you know, another few, you know, a few words. And uh, then after we, we came in, Lucia said to me, you say, you like, I like. We we came here for six months, you know, she's the boss, we make good friend. And they said, do you like it here? Lucia asked, he says, don't have it like, my, I wish he gave a piece of garden. He said, no problem, we can accommodate those, you know. She came aside, he said, you pick what you want. 
you know, I pick, you know, and uh, then we need a rotator to move on. Well, he, he was a rock where we can do nothing. Then we done, you know what I mean? We, we bring it and load the topsoil. And now I got the thick tree, grapes, <laughs> and, you know, tomato, cucumber, and, and provide the full, you know, the and the residents. Wow. We bring so, baskets in, and yeah. the residents help themselves. So I'm, thanks to them and our supporting them, keeping as independent as possible and doing what they love, uh -huh. we didn't have a community garden. They wanted one, so we had our um, landscaping people rototill up the spot he wanted, and he's out there. You can see him all the time. He's oh in the gosh. garden, and other residents mm -hmm. can join in. Oh, um, yes. It's beautiful. So and he's the, able to do his hobby. He teases the residents yeah. and says... And the good thing is... Summertime, a resident with walker, summer going to school, everything. Yeah. Come see me. Oh, yeah. I'll give you tomato, cucumber. Yeah. I mean, these people enjoy, you know, this kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. How long have you guys been together? Oh, wait. Three long. months. <laughs> Three months? <laughs> <laughs> you Three know, that's a months. question we're often asked, but almost 40 years we've oh, been gosh. together. Yes, and that so is wonderful. We had no idea that we... Um, would be with assisted living the message that i would like to send out is this to all the seniors maybe they're not ready there was a time that we weren't ready mm -hmm. but come and visit us see what it's like so when the time comes and you may want to make that decision you've already checked checked it out sure uh sometimes waiting till the last minute can be hectic for us as we're older we're 80 years old going on 65 there you go <laughs> and uh, and we have many many that are in their 80s 90s um early 90s and they're active very active uh they have um they play bingo they have uh, movies uh pop popcorn make <laughs> fresh cookies in the afternoon they have a a, a um uh, coffee cookie hour and everybody comes to the lobby who wants to have a treat and of course they tell us also the kitchen is open 24 7 really oh yeah so anytime you get a hankering for something well, call them yes. up i mean there's yes. something not to put the grill on sure. but, <laughs> yes. but you know if you want a sandwich or you want just um a little ice cream or you just the coffee's there 24 7 in the lobby as well so we don't have to ask but we can ask for almost anything and they will accommodate us. We wow. have a RN available. Uh, I had um, bronchitis in November, and I was really sick. And uh, she would come up and check on me. Uh, they take uh, our te our temperature. Uh -huh. You know, when we're sick, yeah. they'll come and just check things out, make mm -hmm. sure that we're not uh, going backwards, that we're staying or going forward. Uh, in any situation like that. Teresa, if somebody wants to get in touch with you and come and take a look at the facilities, where do we go? I know you're online at maplegleNSL.com, but elsewhere, how do we get in touch with you? You can call me at 360-427-0300. We also have a, a Maple Glen Facebook page, which mm -hmm. is a great thing. Um, go ahead and like our page. You'll see all of our pictures, contact information, um, on there as well okay and then so. this summer we can go to the garden and get right, some fresh yeah. veggies it sounds like. maybe, maybe another, you can come out and film our garden yeah for us. that sounds like a another great idea. big thing is um they take uh, a baseball uh, fans to the uh, to the games oh, yeah. mariner yeah. games uh -huh. uh, and we go on picnics uh with uh caregivers with us and we had fun at uh, what is that park down there um Oh, where the waterfall or um, Walker Park? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, sure. We so went you there. Get that was so much fun. And John, um, John, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of maintenance fun. director. I yeah. tell you, that guy's uh, 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 he is funny like me. And we get along so good, you know. He take care of residents. Yeah, I he tell you, teases so the much. People. Yeah, we work a team. We work together. You yeah. know, if you need help, I help. You know, bring it up. And uh, we have a good time. Yeah. And uh, this year, you have to go two, three times. Oh yeah. He did hot dogs, s'mores, and I mean, we just had a ball. We have a ball when we go on our field trips. They call oh, it. A lot of games. Stephanie takes them to the game, ocean. You know, yeah. Wow. Oh, the ocean shores. shores. In, in the summertime, people. Just 
out to come in the garden, we can clean, and you, you get, I'm not a, a, like, you know, a golf course. Oh, nice, yeah. Not big, you, know, you can play golf course. Sure. Maybe yeah. I should take your bed out to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say I'm second best to the garden. Oh, my yes. gosh. Well, your top's here today for sure. I love this. This is such a great conversation. Teresa Gilman from Maple Glen, also Donato, Lucia, Giancola. Uh, Got to be great. Uh, you coming into work every day, seeing them. That's gonna. Oh, be. it's fabulous! Oh, seeing it's, all it's of us, uplifting, yeah. very uplifting mm-hmm. for me. Wonderful. And like they say, it's it's very much family. It's it's Quarantine. my family. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. We're all family. Oh, it's so great! It was so nice to meet you too. Well, thank you Anytime. for having us. Anytime. Well, my gosh, and I think we will then connect a little bit later this summer because I got to check out this garden. Oh sure. Teresa Donato Lucia, thanks for coming on the air with me this morning. Well, thank thanks you for, for having us. Yes. Thank you, you too. Thank we'll see you, you in Maple Glen.